So, everyone's been talking about that new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie that's gonna come out this year. That's been produced by Seth Rogen, and it's seemingly all about April O'Neil. Or should I say the new April, since, uh, as you can see here, she has a new look. Ugh. I can't take it no more! I gotta go! Ah! Now, from what I've seen, people are upset over the fact that they changed a character who was traditionally a red-headed white woman to a red-dreaded, big-boned black preteen. God damn it! God damn it, not again! According to people with the closest access to a wiki, April has always been black, but she was changed to the red hood we know today. Even though the creators of the series said it themselves that she was always like that. What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro. You tripping! <laughs> anyway, one of those changes that seems to make somewhat sense is that she looks to be younger because, as you can see in the trailer, the turtles are younger as well. They seem to be, at least from what I've seen, in that preteen, 12, 13 ish range is what I'm guessing. Don't know how they got one of them braces, by the way. Meal. Add that with the style that's very reminiscent of the Into the Spider-Verse movie and the fact that it's a part of Nickelodeon movies, it's pretty clear that this was made for kids in mind. Everything else? No clue. I do have a theory if you're willing to listen to the crazed mewings of a bored crab, though. You see, this is the voice actor of our new April. Here are the voice actors of the supporting cast. And here are the voice actors of the Turtles. Are you noticing any differences here? Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about? was yeah, that? I'm sorry, no Literally everyone else other than the Turtles voice actors are mainstream celebrities. I mean, sure, they got a little bit of uh, work here and there, but let's be honest, they're, 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 they're nobodies. And what worries me was when I saw Seth Rogen's name plastered everywhere around the movie. It kind of tells me that this is going to be your typical celebrity filled cast playing themselves while completely pushing the writing and source material out the window. Heck, Seth even got his man Brendan O'Brien writing for the movie. You know, the guy who's most known for making Neighbors and Neighbors 2. Hey, they got Kevin Eastman and uh, Peter Laird working on it too, so the movie should be fine, right? Right? Also, I know it's crazy, but white people had perns back in the day. Just saying. It's crazy. I know. <laughs>